and grow the stuff that, like the, the seeds stored here, they'll grow four inches in a day. And just once it, all the base is built up, off it goes. Now the mound itself, half of that is underground, and then there's tunnels going out about 100 metres in every direction, going out, collecting up little bits of grass, carry them back to the mound, and uh, store it up for later. A mound that size will eat as much grass in a day as a cow. So we don't have big grazing animals up here, but we've got these little guys here. And also these guys and the ants are the ones that do all the soil conditioning. So most parts of the world you've got worms, dig little tunnels down for soil and carry organic material down, let water and oxygen down to the soil. The climate's too extreme up here for worms, so termites and ants do all that sort of stuff. And people reckon that these guys have the, are the reason for the biodiversity in Kakadu. So we've got like a third of all the birds in Australia live in the Kakadu area, all the species of birds and, and sort of half of the reptiles and amazing numbers of species of animals living up here because of these guys. Now the Aboriginal people use this material um, when they're hunting, they grind it up, mix it with water, smear it on their bodies so the animals can't smell them and if they have stomach infections they'd mix it with water and drink it um, and for ceremony they'd grind it up, mix it with water, spread it on the ground and then do their paintings on it and then dance on it and crush it up believing that that's driving their spiritual energy and the energy of the ceremony into the, into the ground to allow um, life to come to the world around them. Europeans use it to bake tennis courts, uh, pizza ovens, the bakery at Pine Creek is made from termite mortar and they use it to repair runways like during the Second World War and the Qantas runway at Newcastle Waters was repaired numerous times using termite mortar. And uh, this species of termite is the largest, well, the largest mounds anywhere in the world. Like they have them in Africa and South America and such too. But these guys here are the biggest. And for human beings to build this, it'd be the equivalent of a, say, a million people building a, a building eight city block square, a mile high and half a mile under the ground, blindfolded, using their hands, making out of poo. That's what this stuff is. Well, that's the termites, cathedral termites these are. We've got three mounding species, we've got the cathedrals and cotter's termite, they just like make a shell at the base of the tree. And the magnetic termites which are over there. So, and the rest live inside trees, so 60% of the trees you see around here will have termites living in them. And so between the termites and the regular fires, because Aboriginals have fire management, they call it fire stick, 